it's David and Brian from VM Blog, and we're here in San Diego. And we're covering the KubeCon uh, Cloud Native 2019 conference, and here's some of the highlights from the show. KubeCon 2019 in San Diego, and we're visiting with Alexio. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the company and what you're showing here at KubeCon? Yeah, great to be here, and it's great to be on the VM, VM blog. Alexio is a data orchestration company. We're open source, and we provide a way to bring data from different data stores to the compute, and those are analytics and AI workloads. Uh, we're based out of uh, San Mateo, California, and it originally came out of the Berkeley AMP Lab, where uh, UC Berkeley's AMP Lab is known for where Spark came from, as well as where uh, Alexio came from. And our founder and CTO is co-creator of, of Apache uh, Spark, an early committer, as well as he created the, this project. And this is for data. So it's a little bit about us. And um, so how do you fit into the Kubernetes ecosystem? And you know what specific problems do you solve? Yeah, so we're all about the analytics and AI workloads. And those are now starting to move over to Kubernetes. And they're now working on disaggregated uh, containers of those uh, frameworks. But Kubernetes isn't very stateful. And so people are struggling with how do you have an elastic compute infrastructure with Kubernetes, yet what do you do about the data? So the data also, we believe, needs to be elastic. And that's what Alexio provides. Again, we bring the data from different data storage outside of Kubernetes and bring it to the, the, the compute inside and make that uh, a, data, a data access layer that is, uh, does intelligent caching, improving the performance of that and making that consistent, and then also letting it scale out elastically. So we find that this problem for data in Kubernetes hasn't really been addressed. There are folks that try to put storage, yet another storage silo within Kubernetes, instead we find a data access layer would be more uh, amenable to a solution there. And I understand you had a bunch of announcements around the show, maybe you can tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, so uh, we announced two big things with our, uh, uh, today, which is uh, we have Helm charts available for Alexio, as well as cloud formation templates. So this just makes it that much simpler to deploy Alexio, whether it be in the cloud and all the different cloud providers, or within uh, an on-prem Kubernetes environment. So we're continuing to advance, making this simpler and simpler. Generally, it's easy to deploy, where if you have, for example, a Spark, uh, a Spark cluster of Kubernetes uh, containers, you can co-locate the uh, Alexio with it, so that you could have one container containing Spark and Alexio workers together. Or you could have a Presto and Alexio worker together. You can also deploy Kubernetes, uh, uh, Alexio separately, where you can have two uh, containers in the same pod and scale those elastically also. Great. And where can our viewers go if they want to find out more information about Alexio, maybe uh, try out your product? Yeah, so uh, Alexio is all open source. We do offer enterprise versions as well. And you can go to alexio.io and uh, simply download our software and, and try it out. We're also available if you have cloud deployments and you're using things like data lakes like S3, you can use Alexio with EMR and we have templates for that as well. So just go to alexio.io and you'll get all the information you need there. Great. Well, thank you for taking the time to speak with VM Blog. Yeah, glad to be on VM Blog. Thank you.